morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to another vlog. My name is Jenny. You can follow me on Instagram here and all other social media links will be down in the description box down below. Now, before we jump into today's adventure, I would love to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. This is like my fifth time working with them and surprisingly, they still want to work with me. So I'm really excited to share with you their Black Friday sale. So this is like their biggest sale. You get a buy one, get one 60% off. So if you or your friend or your mom or anyone has been eyeing off a piece of their jewelry, this is the perfect time. Time to get organized, time to get those Christmas presents because they've got gifting sets. Um, they've got these really cute new Zodiac kind of horoscope necklaces so you can get one for yourself, get one for your friend. So what I've chosen for today's haul is I went with more of a dainty ring range this time. So the first ring that I got is the Jenna ring and it is the daintiest, cutest little ring and it has this little stone right in the middle. And just to complement it, I got another dainty rope ring. This one is more of like a chain twisted style and it is called the Josie. Now, if you're worried about ordering ring sizes, uh, there is a size chart on the website and it's quite easy. You just measure a finger for reference. I've got small little child hands. These are a size six apparently. And I also picked up this in a previous haul. This is the slim rope ring. So it is kind of chunky at the front and then goes thinner towards the bottom. So it is really comfortable to wear. And today's outfit is inspired by these checkered earrings. How cute and fun are they for summer? So these are the Hannah checker earrings in the color Poppy. And y'all know why I chose the color Poppy? Because my dog, just over there wreaking havoc, is Poppy. So I got inspired by these two-tone kind of pink and red colors. And today's outfit is pink and burgundy wine color. I feel like a little tutti fruity strawberry. So you can click on the link in the description box and you can get your own little fancy finger jewelry or earrings. And thank you so much to Ana Luisa again for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> a smaller winery um, and just do like a wine tasting with some cheese board this place is so cute so lovely and they have these resident geese I'll try and get a shot of them later <laughs> from the Goose Block. <laughs> it's uh, 2019 from uh, the, the Western Valleys of the Vineyards of Nia. Oh, yeah, I've seen it before. What a guy, it's a completely different animal. A lamb and a sheep is one of the... So we are at our third and final spot for the winery tour. We are at Helen and Joey Estate and it is stunning. Let me show you. Sorry. Oh. 
8.30. Actually, no. 8.46 and we are out and about. It's quite late, but we are going to watch a movie. It is our first movie post-lockdown. We're going to watch Shang-Chi. What flavor do you want? Do you want mint? Yeah. <laughs> about the lighting in here that makes it does the strings but I was literally drooling <laughs> from how good that was I was like <laughs> but it was so calming the music is something about the music just made me like go in and out of consciousness which I rarely do when I get a massage and I kept drifting off to sleep I got over remedial and I thought it'd be very like painful but it was super relaxing still and very nice but like just enough pressure <sighs> I feel great it was amazing finished filming some content and now I'm gonna go meet up with my friend Greg and his puppy at the dog park so we've got a really nice kind of it's called the like cricket reserve so it's kind of all fenced in and all the little dogs and big dogs can just go off leash and play with each other I haven't seen his puppy for uh, since the very start of lockdown I saw the puppy just before the lockdown and I think it's been three months and he's no longer a puppy he's pretty big I think he's like almost double the size of puppy so we will see how they get along this time and see if they remember each other Are you excited to see Leo? Do you wanna do you wanna go to the park? <gasps> this is Leo look at them go <laughs> This is Leo's dad. <laughs> so what breed is Leo? He's Cocker Spaniel Cavoodle. Yep. I thought Love you were going to say he's perfect. <laughs> he's that as well. <laughs> oh, he's so big now. He was just a little baby. Hello, Leo. Oh. Oh, throwing hands. Someone was a bit naughty at the park. Got into the mud pile. Oh, the joys of having a white dog. Now you're gonna get another bath. Do you want a bath, puppy? Disappointing. <laughs> also, I forgot to tell you um, about the Shang-Chi movie. It was like the fight scenes were insane. I'm pretty sure my mouth was like the whole time in the movie and the scenes, the set, absolutely stunning. I did feel like I watched like two to three movies in once. There were just so many things going on, like so many storylines. Um, so many villains, like the, those last things, if you know what I'm talking about. Where do they even come from? I'm not very well versed with the Marvel Universe, but I think this one is like detached anyway. So I just felt like they kept introducing more and more and more people and things. And I was like, I can't keep up. And it felt kind of very like up, down, up, down, up, down. Like it would have like a huge fight scene and then be calm, then huge fight scene, then calm, then huge fight scene, then calm. Honestly, I would have watched it if that was like split into two movies. Awesome movie, but like... So much going on, a little bit overwhelmed, but stunning, amazing. And another thing that I found really cool as well was that the movie started in Mandarin Chinese. And I think that first section maybe went on for five to 10 minutes and it was all in Chinese. It was, it was amazing. I kind of just assumed it would, you know, start in English and have Chinese scattered here and there, but I thought it was very lovely that they decided to begin the movie in their mother tongue.
went to Lakeside and now we're gonna go pick up a picnic camper and go picnic next to the lake. <laughs> to do my podcast with Bebe. It's called The Shameless Sisters, Hi, it's the and it is a bilingual podcast. And we recently treated ourselves and got matching microphones. Mine's red, hers is silver. I got the blue Yeti mic, purely because I saw the YouTubers use it for their podcast. Um, so I thought it's easy to set up. I don't want to use that sandbox thing and you just plug it straight into your computer with a USB and it connects. And I am using it on GarageBand. Let's test it out. left to go back to Sydney. We had lunch at Tipo in the CBD, which was my first time going there because it's always booked out. It's quite a small restaurant, but it was delicious. I had the spaghetti with rainbow trout and it was steamed to like perfection. So I'm just trying to figure out what's what my hair wants to do. And now I am getting ready to go to Arbury again. Yes, with my friend Joan and Adrienne. Um, and we're just gonna get a quick bite to eat and try catch up a little and oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like alfalfa from Little Rascals. But can I just say, after a week of a lot of socializing and eating out, I've lost my voice from simply talking so much. I've used all my money. I never want to eat out again. I'm exhausted mentally, emotionally, and physically. And I gotta go to work tomorrow. I'm just catching up on the block finale before I leave. I'm crazy. Um, spoiler alert. Do any of you think they hiked the reserve up price that high on purpose and then brought it back down just to create drama? Because not enough drama for the last episode. Oh my god, I'm watching the, watching the auction right now. Poppy's growling. She doesn't like the reserve price of 3.4. adventures in and around Melbourne. Let me know what you guys have been up to and what I should check out. I saw the NGV National Gallery of Victoria will be starting their Gabrielle Chanel exhibition. So I'm booking tickets to that. We also went to a beautiful winery wedding on the weekend. So that will be in next time's vlog. And thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. You can check out their Black Friday sale. It is buy one, get one 60% off. And I hope you find something for yourself or your friend or for a Christmas present. You can follow me on Instagram at Jenny J Zhao. You can follow me on TikTok at Jenny J Zhao. And you can listen to Baby and I's bilingual podcast called The Shameless Sisters or Ha Yi Su on Apple Podcasts. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.